So if you've got a service-based business or you're thinking of starting one, you need to realize that there are some critical differences of a service marketing strategy versus marketing traditional products. But firstly, what is services marketing? It's a special form of marketing which started in the 1980s and it focuses on the unique marketing strategies need to sell services as opposed to physical goods. And in this video, I'll show you the top six ways that I believe you should market your services. But first of all, you might be thinking, will it work for me? Because my business is so unique kind of just like everyone else's is unique really. But these strategies really do work and having personally helped over 350 businesses from scratch in Australia since 2009, I'll let you know, it doesn't matter if it's B2B, B2C, if you've got a new business, existing business, if you do $100 a week in revenue, like you train horses for a living or horse riders, all the way to a HR company that does $100 million in revenue each year, I've helped all of those companies in between. Everything from health and wellness, coaches, beauty, therapists, personal trainers, finance like accountants, financial planners, corporate like consultants, recruitment companies, property such as real estate agents, buyers agents, dance lessons, relationship experts, the whole gamut. So I'll just let you know in case we haven't met, my name's Cham Tang and in 2009 I co-founded what's now a BRW Fast 100 company called Authentic Education. But let's get along with the six key ways that you should focus on. The first one is stand out with copywriting. The reason is services by their nature are intangible. You can't touch them, your customer can't see them. You're essentially selling the invisible. They're uncertain about what they're actually gonna get if they pay you money. The good news is you can make what they're going to get, that image in their mind of what they can expect, anything you want because it is in intangible. So what that means for you is once you get good at this skill known as copywriting, you can charge a premium price for your services. See, the thing about copywriting is it's that skill you need when you're in front of a blank page. Like you're not sure what to write in an email, what to write in an ad, what script to write in a video. Copywriting is that skill of articulating your worth and turning something intangible, like your service, something that people can't see, into something they can see. So the way you ensure that this happens is you think to yourself, what is the image in their mind I would like for them to create their ultimate goal? And I'll let them know that's what my service does. So if you're a personal trainer, it could be that image of the six pack abs. It could be that image of only doing 15 minutes of work per day, as opposed to you know, a grueling two hour workout. Whatever it is, describe it for them. And what I would say is, where possible, especially with your services and marketing them, show, don't tell. Don't just say things, but show them where possible. So show them as actual exercises if you're a trainer. If you're a financial planner, show them a one-page plan that's easy to read. See, this concept of show, don't tell is especially helpful for service-based industries because you need to give people, human beings who are visual by nature, something to latch onto, something to tangibly grasp. And the more you articulate yourself well um, with copywriting, the further you'll succeed. The second thing you need to do now is build trust with what's known as content marketing. Because people these days, they don't know what they're actually getting with your services, but they do know who they're getting it from. So they trust the company or the person they're getting it from. And how do you build trust in this day and age? You give people solutions to their problems through free education. This could be creating a special report, a free video series, a free webinar, some type of a educating product that helps them differentiate how your service is different from another. So I was talking to a lady down in Melbourne and she did brow bars for a living. So she painted on people's eyebrows and she didn't know what to give away. So I said, hey, what's different about your product or service, in her case service, versus everyone else's? She said, the technology we use, that it's no pain, the aftercare service, all of these things. So I said, you should create five top things you should know before you get your eyebrows done. So now you're educating people while building a relationship and building trust with them. This content marketing strategy is a way to get free traffic forever. I don't have time to go into the whole thing because that'd take like 45 minutes or something, but just know content marketing is what you wanna look into. The third marketing strategy I'd recommend for services is automate your prospecting with Facebook ads. 
Now, Facebook ads in this day and age is the cheapest source of traffic you can possibly get. The cheapest source of paid traffic, I should say. And it's so super targeted, it's unbelievable. I mean, one in five adults in the entire world now use Facebook on a monthly basis. That's huge. So that means just in Australia alone, it's like four out of five. We've got a population of about 24 million, but 16 million people use Facebook every single month. So if you're wondering how do you get that free content to people, Facebook ads is one of the ways. And when it comes to Facebook ads, I'll give you a small tip right now. Don't just focus on the ad, but also focus on who is seeing the ad. The audience that you select for a Facebook ad is half the battle. So you have to know your audience inside and out. A number four marketing strategy is to accelerate with presenting. So you wanna put content out there and educate people, but where possible, you wanna be the face of your business. You wanna be the face of your service-based business, just like Steve Jobs. I mean, he did products and he still knew that being the face of the business is paramount. So if you just think about this for a second, Apple and Steve Jobs have an unlimited marketing budget, virtually unlimited. And every time they launched a new Apple iPod or iPhone, how did they do it? They did it through live presentations and being the face of their business. So you need to master this skill of presenting. This could be to a camera, to a boardroom. This could be to a live audience, a short keynote presentation. But the great thing about being the face of your business is you build what Warren Buffett calls an economic moat around you. You become untouchable because no one can copy you. As in, no one can copy you. No one can copy Steve Jobs. No one can copy Tony Robbins, although plenty of people have tried. You are unique, and that is your unique selling point when you put yourself out there and be the face of your business. What that really means for you, though, is you'll be able to charge a premium price for your services now because they can't compare. Unlike products, you can say, oh, that iPhone there is $800, and that one's you know, $770. I'm going to go down the road just to save $30. People don't do that with services as much because they don't know what they're gonna get. And once they find someone they trust, they couldn't be bothered shopping around because it's too hard to actually tell. The number five marketing strategy I use for services is to double your reach with joint ventures. What does this mean? It means if you've got an existing list, it could be a list of 550 or 5,000, you can find another complementary but non-competitive company out there that also delivers services or maybe products and do a joint venture with them. So as an example, if you're a buyer's agent, you buy properties for people, you might think, my ideal client that wants to buy their dream home, what other services or products do, do they use? It could be mortgage broking. So now you approach a mortgage broker and you say, hey, I do great products and services. I keep using the word products. I've got a great service for buyer's agent. You've got mortgage broking services. How about we let each other's clients know? The sixth one is referrals. So services by their very nature is a people-based business. It's a trust-based thing. It's relationships. So what you want to do is leverage the existing relationships you've got to refer other people. Because unlike products, no one ever really says, hey, do you know where to buy a good chair from or a good washing machine? It's They go online and they review that stuff. But people are always asking for referrals when it comes to service-based businesses. Like, do you know a good accountant? Do you know a good mortgage broker? Do you know a good personal trainer, a hairdresser? So you need to give people a reason to actually refer and the ability to, to do that. So you need to start creating referral marketing strategies. So. I know I've been talking a lot, but that's the six ways I would recommend whether you're a new existing business, B2B, B2C for service-based businesses. Now, I know I've mentioned a lot of different terms here. I mentioned copywriting, Facebook ads, art of presenting, all of those things. If you wanna know more of the steps specifically about each one, I'll be talking roughly for about half an hour on each one in order for you to really get a 500% return on every marketing dollar you spend at the upcoming one day event called Marketing Your Message. If you haven't booked in for it yet, all you gotta do is go to authenticeducation.com.au forward slash MYM, which stands for Marketing Your Message. During this event, I'll be lifting the lid lifting the curtain, the veil, whatever you want to call it, on everything I do um, in terms of marketing. Having spent now $2 million in marketing, having gotten to the top of Google for very popular search terms, 
having helped our clients get results from just $5 a day, I'm gonna show you step by step the marketing strategies I use and specifically how to use them. You'll leave with a complete roadmap, you'll see live presentations, a whole bunch of inspiration, network with other people, the whole lot. Um, it's a one day free event that you can check out. All you gotta do is go to authenticeducation.com.au forward slash MYM and I hope to see you there. And if we do meet, please come up and say hi. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Just remember, you don't have to get it right. You just have to get it started. Thanks for watching.